Hey everybody and welcome back to another video by me the accessibility guy and in this video going to talk all about the new models of Apple Watch. There are three the Apple Watch SE which is this. I personally will never ever buy one of these because I have got a vision problem so bigger is better for me and I don't like the Apple Watch SE with smallest screen size but some people like it very much and I am happy for you guys but not me. My motto is go big or go home. Moving on next is the Apple Watch Series 8, but wait I have got the Series 6 from 2020 exactly two years ago tomorrow wow time files. I will get that one, but wait this year Apple made a brand new one of a kind watch. I bring you say hello to the future of Apple Watch Ultra, which is bigger more battery life it's got the <laughs> old new IP70 waterproof coating on it which no other company came out with this, except the all new first ever Google Pixel Watch Series 1. And here it is and it's expected to come out tomorrow, but I haven't read anything online about it to see how does it compare to the new Apple Watch Ultra. All I know that it's overpriced but that's not the main topic of tonight's video. I want to talk all about these three new models of Apple Watch made by Apple in California at its headquarters. So let's begin, shall we? <coughs> um, yeah, 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 now I promised you all that I watched the unboxing of the all new after six years the iPhone 14 Plus. Apple finally brought the iPhone Plus model back so let's check it out shall we. This is the all new iPhone 14 Plus. Let's see the video sorry I meant me myself and I will check it out you all know what I mean. The 14 Plus replaces the 14 Mini. I mean I am actually glad because who needs a small baby phone? The iPhone 14 <laughs> Plus comes in five colors. Purple. Pink. Space Black. Starlight and Product Red. It has got three storage sizes, which they are the 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, and 512 gigabytes models. And surprising they are all somehow cheaper than the three other iPhones that I talked about last week. Here are the prices, and these are all before tax, but still cheaper. Wow, I just can't believe it. For the 128 gigabyte storage option it priced to 1250 before tax and after tax it comes to $1,412.50 dollars wow and now for the 256 gigabytes is $1400 before tax now after tax comes out to $1582 and for the 512 gigabyte model which I will buy that storage a potion because I love storing lots of apps, movies, music and for tots mm -hmm. and what not on it so thoughts why and now for the price. It will cost 1670 before tax and after tax it will cost you eighteen eighty seven dollars and ten cents so wow uh, thoughts cheaper than the other iPhone 14 I just wonder if on Black Friday happening on November 25th so there you go now let's unbox this bad boy by me watching it on YouTube. Mm. I love watching these unboxings it's like me working into an Apple store. Now in the box you have the iPhone set that aside for now. 
Now this is something uh, new. I am in Canada. Uh, I don't think uh, yeah. you yet buy it, but I am pretty um, sure in the next few years, I don't think next year, maybe in 2024, uh, uh, this uh, will come in Canada. And the whole world will go to this new version of a SIM uh, card called uh, yeah, eSIM. Uh, and this uh, is the first uh, year in the States that uh, you see no SIM card tray uh, on any of these new iPhones. You have to go to Roger's store. I don't think it's called Roger's in the States. I believe that Roger's is called as a TNT or Vision Mobile or Fideo. But anyways, moving on. Later this fall or winter or early 2023, we'll do a video talking all about the future of eSIM and what is it and explain what it is. Truthfully, I only really knew about it two months ago about eSIM. But that's not the topic in this video. Basically, a eSIM somehow is a QR code. I don't exactly know what it is fully, but we'll read up all about it. So now, but the good news that in Canada, when you buy iPhones, it will ship with a SIM card tray. Oh, yeah. In the box we have got an Apple sticker, I just wonder if Apple gave me a sticker when I got myself the iPhone 13 Pro Max last year. I have got the box in my room, we'll have to check it out. Uh, I'm really, I'm really, I have the, 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 yeah, I have a jet I have a my 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 but I am I am a child of a bubba. We get a USB to lighting cable. As I said last year, I don't know why for the iPad Pro they gave me a USB Type-C charging cable, but for some reason the iPhones the USB type of charging cable that what Apple is falling behind on and lacking. But one day they will come out with USB Type-C. I don't know why Apple haven't made them yet and only for the iPad Pro makes no sense. Mm -hmm. And you get no charging block I don't like mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. Apple Fox mm -hmm. the only mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. and their products are overpriced. Mm -hmm. Apple is just like Starbucks. <laughs> They care about your money, not about what you want in a product, it's kind of stupid. Let's turn on this bad boy, looks nice phone. So happy that they brought the Plus model back, believe it or not, I might consider getting one of these next year, when it's under 1000 bucks. It will get there, they always do. This is the less expensive model. 
There's a microphone speaker. Your power sleep and wake button. Your charging port. You get a slant button on the side of a loam up and down slider. By the way, thank God that Apple ended up moving the volume slider on screen from the annoying box in the middle of the screen to the side. Good job, Apple, for doing that. We have got glass on the front and aluminum on the back, which is a bit cheaper. Thoughts probably why the phone is a bit cheaper than the others. Yeah. We get two, not three cameras on the back of the phone. Plus one camera on the front and the yeah. notch thoughts why the notch is there. Let's boot it up here as you can see it comes with 50% charge, which is really yeah. nice for Apple to do that for their customers. I think other phone companies do that too like Google, Samsung, Motorola, Red Magic and whatnot. Let's do the setup so in the phone got a 60 hertz display not a 120 hertz display like we have got on the other 14 iPhone models the Pro and the Pro Max which I covered off last week. It can't go as bright like up to 800 nits of brightness as the typical and up to 1200 nits as the peak not 2000 nits as the peak as on the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. If you live in Canada you won't have this screen for getting your QR code already and set up. For the first time at doing it you have to go to your phone tech store mm -hmm. and they can help you it's kinda weird without the SIM card, but thoughts the future I guess. You usually wait 15 to 20 minutes for your stuff, contacts, notes, apps, music, things like that. So you can just use the bathroom or do something else while you're waiting for it to transfer from your old iPhone to your new one. Or you can just wait for it up to you totally. Next screen after it's done finishing setting up your new iPhone. This is one of the new features it has got car flash detection and emerge so hopefully none of us will ever use this but it's there just in case. My Apple Watch Series 6 already got it for 2 years already and now finally coming to iPhone and as well with the new iOS 16.2 software update coming to Apple early 2024 in the new year and coming fall 2023 so after the summer next year there will be soddy lights that with communicate to your iPhone without using Wi-Fi or cellular yeah. data which uh, is pretty uh, cool uh, sadly uh, iPhone uh, yeah. 12 or Yarrler will not get this feature mm -hmm. restores from a cloud is the final step before you start using your new iPhone as you see it's set up fully it has got the default wallpaper same as the box, but you can change it if you want. It shipped with the all new iOS 16 with always on display finally we have got it on iPhone. People has been waiting for this. It came pre-installed with iOS 16.0.2. But as of two days ago you can update to iOS 16.0. Mm. Point three. As I said last week, I am still on iOS 15.7 update, but end of this month, once the final update for iOS 15 comes out, we'll update finally to iOS 16 and make a video and telling you what is my take on iOS 16. As you can see we have got lots of wallpapers featured for collections for live and for the other default iPhone 14 wallpapers pretty cool if you ask me. It feels really much like using my iPhone 13 Pro Max that I have got here just newer specs more RAM newer iOS operating system always on display. The 14 Plus has got a bit better battery life on it which I really enjoy and love. 
It has got a 4,325 milliamp battery in it. Thoughts to Fimpy an upgrade with my iPhone 13 Pro Max with a 4,100 milliamp battery in it. So next year I might consider getting that phone as my fifth phone of my life. While Apple has done it 100 hour music playback my iPhone 13 Pro Max lasts for 80 hours of music playback. So while this iPhone is a bit better than the other iPhone 14 teens. It has got the A15 Bonic chip not the all new A16 chip which is found on the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. It's super fast. The camera gets an upgraded with autofocus with the front facing camera. It got a pretty good camera, however it has got the 12 millipixel camera not the 38 millipixel thoughts find I don't care. All new 4K chimeric mode thoughts a new feature added. New action mode pretty cool. The 14 and the 14 plus are about essentially the same phone just a bigger screen size. Overall I recommend this is a tough one. As much as I really love the new iPhone 14 plus with bigger display better cameras I recommend for you still to buy the iPhone 13 or iPhone 13 Pro Max like what I have got here. Yeah, 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 I my the um, so thoughts what I recommend for you to buy however I will in fact I'm going to buy the iPhone 14 plus because it's not as expensive as the other iPhone 14 models of phones and it has got always on display which I love and really glad that Apple added this feature to the iPhone lineup this year. So anyways moving on to the meat and bones of this video. <laughs> and that brings me to talking all about the new Apple Watch models. So let's start with talking all about the Apple Watch SE which is the second general of Apple Watch SE. The first gens came out last year, and I will never ever buy one of these. So but I will review and talk about it because you guys, some of you guys might consider buying one of these so thoughts why. <laughs> the Apple Watch SE 2 came out on September 16th as well as the Apple Watch Series 8. All of the three watches has got the Apple S8 is for the system on chip. They all have got 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. All of them has got 32 gigabytes of storage on them which is actually more than enough believe it or not. The SE2 has got a 40 millimeters screen size with a 1.5 inch display size. The SE2 has cellular data and Wi-Fi connectivity. All of them have got a Butelet and Retribble Lipo battery in it. It comes with Watch OS 9, and I don't care about it. I never update my Watch Series 6 and I never care. It has got health features, which are monitor your... Heart with heart health notifications. Track your sleep stages with the sleep app. Stay centered with the mindfulness app. Enhanced workout app which is elevate your training with new advanced mattresses, custom workouts and multi-sport functionally. Stay connected which is with GPS and cellular models you can call and text even when you don't have got your iPhone nearby. And family setup lets you pair watches for family members who don't have an iPhone. 
There is something new from Apple Watch this year. For the first year ever Apple Watch now has got crash detection which is detects if you have been in a serious car crash automatically connects you to emergency services and notifies your emergency contacts. Which before Apple Watch only works on your wrist, but now it works without being on your wrist, which is pretty cool from Apple Watch. Apple's slogan for the SE2 is a great deal to love. In fun and fresh combinations. It comes in six colors, which are elderberry. Storm blue. I think this is ocean blue. Midnight. Starlight which looks really cool the best of them all. Oh, new you Pride Edition, no thanks, moving on. And Product Red. I think if I will get one this time, go for the Starlight. And I need the Sports Loop because the buckle is too hard for me to take on or off. <laughs> You can customize your style too. No way, only 329 bucks. Mm -hmm. Say what? Wow, well, hold on. I am on Apple Canada. Wow, well, great deal. Wow. Well, well, yeah. This one two years ago that I got after taxes came out to 825 bucks. Mm -hmm. Wow, so 329 before taxes is a pretty great deal considering how expensive Apple products are. Oh, yeah. Hold on, wait, there's two sizes of the SE2. What, there's a 40 millimeters and a 34 millimeters. Wow, I didn't know about that, and the 40 millimeters fits 130 to 200 millimeters wrist. And the 34 millimeters one can fit 140 mm. to 220 millimeters wrist. Mm. I love bigger mm. size, so yeah. I will buy the 34 millimeters, which costs $40 more, so it will cost 369 bucks. Mm. If for GPS and Wi-Fi model it costs $329 for the 40 millimeters one. If you buy the one with GPS plus somewhere it will cost $399. Wow this year has got only one band size not numbers from 1 to 10 like 2 years ago I am a 6 but I had to wait for my size to come and they only have the 5 and the 7 in the store the 5 was too tight and the 7 was too loose. So this year is different crazy. The 44 millimeters GPS model only costs 369 bucks while the 44 millimeters one with the GPS plus cell costs 429 bucks. So 100 bucks more for GPS and cell than not wow crazy thoughts Apple for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um. have.
Bye. <laughs>